Hello guys, Blender Ustad is here with a new video that how to make a ring from the movie Lord of the Ring. Okay, so this should be the result. So let's get started. So first of all, Shift A in airplane. Let's scale it up. This will be the ground, and let's Shift A and add a circle. Okay. So go to edit mode and let's extrude it with E and then scale it with S something like this now select all and extrude it upward something like this now control R and add a loop here and let's scale it up something like this and now uh, I will add a subdivision modifier to make it a bit smooth Okay. so that's it ok that's it now we need to set up the camera so shift a and add a camera and then control alt and number zero and let's fly the camera with shift and upper key something like this grab it somewhere around there and let's put it right this okay so it's not smooth so right click and make it shade smooth to make it look smooth and now let's add a simple HDRI okay so go to the this setting uh, board properties and then this turn on this to environment texture and add uh, an environment texture I have this one uh, which is from HDRI even you can download it from there or you can use any one it will work fine okay so let's see how it look like okay so it looks something like this now we need to create the shading for it okay so for that first of all we'll add a simple color to this one okay so we'll try to select something like this yep this would be fine and let's grab this one a bit down to make it on the ground okay so now select this one and delete the principal shader or you can change it from here to the glossy shader okay so glossy and if I see it it will look something like this which is pretty much cool I will decrease the roughness and now I will add a gold color okay something like this make it a bit brighter yep this should be fine okay uh, one more thing we need to do is to uh, if we add just simple one node it will look a bit flat so for that we need to mix it okay so shift D to duplicate this node and now shift A and add a mix shader okay so we will try to mix these two shaders okay so as you can see we will make this one uh, a bit brighter or something somewhere around there you can adjust the values it's totally up to you and one other thing we need to do is to add another node which is the layer weight node this is pretty much amazing node okay so let's do it and and as you can see it's working something like this so if we change the value okay uh, let me select this one yep this is fine okay so let's increase the value and now as you can see this place is taking this color and the sides are giving this color so it's pretty much uh, fine for now okay so now uh, we need to add the texture which have the text okay but before that we need to unwrap it so for that select this one and go to the UV editing okay and let's UV edit it very simply okay so we don't need to unwrap the whole object okay if I double click on it to select this loop and double shift and double click on it to select this loop I think this will be fine okay so all we need to do is to press U and make it unwrap uh, if it not work then you need to press uh, then you need to apply the scale okay so control A and make it all transform and let's do it redo it so as you can see it's uh, working but it is in a circle we don't want it we want it to uh, to be like a square shape or something to fit on it to fit on the text okay so for the 
for that we need to add a seam here okay so go to the vertex selection and double click on this loop okay you can select any loop so i select this one and let's control e and make it mark seam now again we need to go to the face selection and double click on it shift and double click on it to select this one and let's unwrap it again so as you can see it's now unwrap it something like this which we want so we will rotate it 90 degree oh one thing i noticed that if you think uh, from where this image comes so i open it here okay so this i will put a link of this image in the description you can so you can download it from there okay so i just open it for here okay and now let's see how it look like so if i go to the camera and let's see it's not looking because uh we did not set up the uh in nodes okay so we need to set up it here so for that uh we need to add uh, image texture okay so shift a and search for image texture and now select uh the text okay so i have this text uh this te text it is actually a simple text you can do it in photoshop let me open it it's something like this uh the written text is the lord of the ring but i mirrored it because uh, it was not working fine in blender so i mirrored it now it's working fine so you can also use this text or you can create your own text at photoshop okay so that's totally up to you so I create this one and now let's connect it to the display screen okay so we need to add it to this screen. but before that I want to do something more is that I want to create to add a math node okay so we'll create uh, we'll add a math node and now select the color and mix it up to right there and let's select this one and make it to the display screen but we need to make the add to multiply okay so uh, where is the multiply this one okay got it now if I see it I can see it right there but our UV uh, unwrap is not fine so we need to edit it again so we go to the UV unwrap double click on it double click on it with shift uh, let's see it in render view okay so let's scale it up first of all okay and now scale it with Y and make it something like this this would be fine and now scale it at x okay yep this is going to be fine yep this is pretty much fine okay so let's grab this one a bit here so now we can see the lord of the ring okay so we can see it now a bit clear okay so this is totally up to you that how how much you want to adjust it okay so in my case this thing is pretty much fine okay I don't want it to be perfect I'm just doing it roughly to show you the process so now uh, the last thing we want to do is to make this one emission okay so we need the text to be emission so for that uh, we need to add another mixture okay so we need to mix this one uh, to write there and we need to add an emission shader okay so let's first of all select this mix shader and let's shift D and duplicate it and grab it right there okay and now let's add uh, simply emission shader okay so emission shader is used for uh, making make something glowing okay to make something glow to make something light okay so let's connect it to the shader so something weird happened because uh, we don't have okay so let's select this one and make it shift D duplicate and make it right there okay so I think this will be the final thing okay so let's drag it from there and make it to the this one okay so let's see it now so as you can see it worked fine but uh, it's just we need to invert it okay okay so it's a kind of like invert so fix this to fix this we need to just grab this one down and the down one will be go upper 
automatically and that's it that's it exactly what we want okay so one more thing we need to do is to increase the strength to about something like 20 yep this much this must be fine okay and one more thing we need to do is to add a color to it so i would like some kind of orange color here okay kind of like orange or reddish color okay so this must be fine okay so one more thing you can do is to add a depth of depth of field okay so let's select this object and you can play with the f f stop okay so let me check it here which will you work for me Uh, yep, this kind of value I think will work for me. Okay, so now we need to render it. But before render, I want to make the sample to about 200. If you have a faster computer, then you need to make it at more high. Okay, so I have a normal computer, so I think uh, 200 will be fine. Okay. So let's press F12 and make a render. Okay, so our render has been finished. So now we need to do some post processing. So in Blender, post processing is called compositing. Okay, so we need to go to the compositing. And now uh, we will get these two nodes. Okay, so these two nodes, if you don't have it already, you can click on use nodes and you will get this thing. Okay, so now we need to add shift a and add a viewer node to view our render here okay so add a viewer node and now let's drag the image to the image and you will get this thing okay so our render is now in the background so now we can do what we want so first of all i want to add uh, a glare node okay so the glare node is for uh, make it making a glare okay so shift a and add a glare and let's add it here okay. so as you can see magically this thing happened okay so we need to uh, change this thing to fog glow okay so this thing is fine now uh, just we need to change some values so let's check it what will you work here okay so let's see and we can also do it from low okay to low and to high okay so in my case uh, i think the low one work better okay so it's glow a bit more but you can also do it with high this is also fine okay and one more thing i noticed that there is some noise so we need to fix it so search for denoise and let's add the denoise node there okay and after some time you will get fixed of this problem okay so here is done and that is basically the result that is basically what we want okay so thank you so much for watching if you like the video then give me a like and also subscribe my channel for supporting me and for more videos for now 